Hi, I am here on Walking Street. Um, you know, right near, uh, not Walking Street, but um, Antique Street in Illinois. And see this pile of coins for this merchant here. So, uh, she got a uh, big time. Okay. So, okay. Uh, she, uh, do she chan? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. No. One hundred. Hey. So, thank you. Thank you. So, that what I just purchased was um, uh, French Indochina. Uh, old silver bullion piece that was one troy ounce at 90 percent purity i came here the other day i checked all of them and that is just on this like little side street that there's a whole bunch of trinket shops you know and antiques you know maybe i can show another one here So uh, this is just all full of old pottery and uh, various kind of antiques. But this is just really in a high tourist area because walking up just like a half block, you can see behind me there is Benton Market. So a lot of tourists come through to this area and uh, want to get like a souvenir. So that entire tray, it's Troy bullion out, uh, yeah, each, each coin there, uh, one Troy ounce of silver, 90%, I've checked all of them. Uh, they passed the ping test, uh, they did a magnet slide. They are Troy ounces of silver, which as of the recording of this video is, sells for just over $20 US. And you saw that I purchased that for 100, uh, 100,000 uh, Thai uh, Vietnamese dong, which at the again at the time of this recording is about four dollars U.S. So I just bought twenty dollars worth of silver for four dollars. And this is what I've been saying a long time for um, get Benton Market in the background there. This is what I've been saying for a long time about people that want to. Uh, keep silver or gold as a hedge against currency collapse with the theory that uh, people will spontaneously start trading in silver bullion after, uh, you know, when we get into a Mad Max situation. Now that has never happened in the entire history of civilization. Whenever there's been a fire or an earthquake, a typhoon, flood, people start trading in, you know, canned goods, ammunition, uh, gasoline, bottled water, these are the things that are going to be of value after a currency collapse. You know, and even in failed states, failed political states, they've never spontaneously started trading in silver. And this is just a demonstration of why. Because the value of this, right side up, the value of this isn't $20 in bullion this the location of this being right next to benton market and being in a high tourist area this is priced as a trinket as a souvenir that's something people can you know pick up and take on the way home and even a dedicated silver bug like myself i'm not going to go there and buy all all 100 of their coins you know i'm leaving on thursday there's no way that, you know, I would be able to flip them into some, you know, uh, scrap metal dealer or, you know, any kind of pawn shop. I've looked around. I've tried. You know, I could buy all 100 coins for about $400 US and instantly turn them around to uh, $2,000 US. You know, but I can't do that, you know, because I don't know the area. I don't know how to flip them, you know, and... Even in a high traffic area like this, it's all priced 
as if it is a trinket, as if it's a souvenir. The actual milk value of that is absolutely irrelevant. So people aren't going to be spontaneously trading in silver after a currency collapse if people aren't spontaneously trading in silver right now. Everyone has the possibility to do this. I'm sure I'm not the first silver bug to pass through this area, you know, and you know, see the big pile of coins, you know, and it was just, I just did that one shop. Hundred, you know, dozens of shops on that street all had antique silver bullion coins, and they're all selling them, you know, at the the value of what you're going to be doing as a trinket, not as the actual milk value. There's other videos that uh, people, uh, videos on YouTube where I've seen people go out and try and barter and trade for silver bullion and absolutely no one will trade. This is just another example of that. Silver bullion, even though historically has been used as a currency, in today's modern times, you cannot barter with it. And this has just demonstrated that.